Hi, welcome to another episode of the LSWK Diary Series. I am by name Ibrahim Abakar Musa, an LSWK and Law Center representative from Ahmed Obele University's area. And I was nominated by Ulu Atosi Olani of Oshun State University to come on this particular session. So now, um, before I delve into the subject of my discussion, a brief about myself. The name, as I said earlier on, is Ibrahim Abakar Musa, a level 4 student to the Faculty of Law Ahmed Obele University's area. I am a writer, an avid researcher, and a political analyst, and I love literature. Currently, I'm the Director of Litigation on New Chambers Faculty of Law at Hamadou Bele University's area. That's the student-based chambers. And I'm, I'm also the Deputy Litigation Officer of the International Humanitarian Law Student Association, ABU Chapter, also the Head of Drama and Publicity, Creative Writers Club, Hamadou Bele University's area. So as I told you, I love literature, so when I'm not doing law, um, I cheat on law with literature. So now, that's a brief about myself. So now, Olua Tosin um, nominated me to speak on the distinction between common law and equity. And um, to start that, we'll do a, a bit of history to look at how these two laws came to exist and how one developed from the other. So we'll start with common law. Common law started as um, judge-made laws in the common law courts of England, which actually flowed from the norms and customs of the people of England. So now, these common law courts, i.e. the Court of Common Pleas, the King's Bed Division, and the Exchequer, the judges of this particular court were the ones that started what is known today as common law. They were the ones that gave the decisions that formed the um, crux of what is being called common law. So now, these laws were considered by people then as harsh, rigid, and stern. So these people now started running to the King and Council to ask for leniency, to seek for leniency. The King in Council, in um, answering or in um, responding to these people, nominated the Lord Chancellor, who was known as the Keeper of the King's Conscience, to actually address these issues. So now the Lord Chancellor now started giving less tenor and less rigid and less harsh decisions, different from the one given by the, um, the, the Common Law Courts. So these decisions laid down by the Lord Chancellor is what is known as equity. So now, having said that, I think from now, we must have started um, seeing the differences between these two um, entities, common law and equity. The first is common law is harsh, rigid, and stern, while um, equity tends to be more flexible and less harsh. That's it. So, so that's the first difference we have. The second one is that while common law started as rules, it, 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 it started as rules, judge-made rules and laws, Equity only served as a kind of a um, check and balance to the common law in order to reduce hardship. Thirdly, common law developed from the common law courts of England, as I stated them earlier on, common pleas and the rest, while equity developed from the chancery as laid down by the Lord Chancellor. So these are some of the clear distinctions or differences between these two particular entities. Also, historically, if you are filing an action in the common law courts, there is a particular form you are supposed to follow. All actions have a particular form, and if your action does not suit any of those forms, your action cannot come up in the court. Those were the problem people were facing in the common law courts. But with the coming of equity, this change, equity allows you to file your action, to file all action. In as much as you have a case, you can file the action even if it doesn't fit a particular form, or even if the form does not exist at all. So this way, the change is brought by um, equity, and this actually bring out or brought out the differences between these um, two particular entities. So now, and um, one more thing is that where there is um, um, a clash between common law and equity, this is not more of a difference. But then, where where you have common common law dictates and equity principles clashing. Equity will always prevail. Equity will, will just prevail. Yeah, this that's because the law actually um, looks for leniency, looks for um, flexibility for people. So I think that's just it. So these are the clear differences between common law and equity. The aspect of rigidity, the aspect of the source. That means one coming from common law courts, the other coming from um, chancery. The aspect of um, one serving as rule, one serving as check and balance on the other. Then avoidance of form. In equity which was strictly applicable in common law courts so I think with this we've actually been able to touch on um, the differences between common law and equity and um, you know the time is not much I, I am timed here so 
um that's that i think that will be all for our discussion for today so now um i'll be nominating or i am nominating um festina oga from ebony state university to speak on um strict liability under the law of thought strict liability under the law of thought thank you see you in the next episode